What's up everyone, John Schiavo here, back with another video. Today we're gonna go over some skills and training drills. I'm gonna head over to White Bear Lake. We're gonna head over there, have a good time, show you some drills I do at home, at the rink, wherever you are to train. Let's get to it. Great surface here at White Bear Lake. Sweet little facility. We're excited to be here and do some stick handling drills and shooting drills. So first drill here, we're gonna have the puck set up in a triangle, upside down, and I'm gonna have a cone or a puck a little bit out wide. So that's what we're skating after. So the triangle stick handling part is gonna look like this. So you're gonna push it up outside the outside of the triangle, pull it down, around the bottom, back around the outside, and back around the puck. So you're always going outside to inside on this triangle. So you're basically drawing that V just designing it so it'll be two on this side, two on that side before we sprint with the puck. Turn around the cone of the puck. We're gonna come down the slot and just get a hard, good shot. So again, stick handling outside the pucks, down the middle, outside the pucks, down the middle. Really working the hands, getting comfortable. Okay, once we get there, we're sprinting up and out. Make a tight turn, attack the net, get a hard shot. This is a great warm up drill. Get the hands going. We're gonna quick sprint, a turn, and a good shot. So, turn this thing down with the again. So, now we're gonna work on a little stick handling into a short skate and then to a backhander. So, I'm a righty. So, when I finish doing my stick handling, I'm gonna go around the puck and I'm gonna be on my backhand to shoot the backhand. So, recommend starting with a lefty on the other side just to get comfortable. So here, we're gonna just work through the pucks and back through the pucks. So stick handling as tight as we can to the pucks without hitting them and working those three pucks for four reps before we take off, get around our puck or cone and take a backhander. So again, working those hands through the pucks as quick and as smooth as we can for four reps, looking just like that. Before we take off, get around the top of the cone, get to the back, and shoot. So this last drill, while we have the five pucks set up, work on being far away. So it's a great drill. Austin Matthews uses this shot a lot. A lot of pros are really working on pulling that puck towards them and shooting it. So we'll mimic all these different lengths of where the puck is away from your body and trying to pull it around the end puck and get a shot until all the pucks are gone. The last puck, you can just shoot right where it landed. So here we're gonna work on reaching out. It's far for the first one. Pulling it in, getting around it, and getting your shot. So a lot of guys are using that big toe curve. I don't really use it, my blade's pretty flat, so a lot more to work on here, a little bit more control. But you wanna pull it out and in, get your head up, chest up, get ready to fire it at that net, and you're again pulling it in towards your body, changing the angle before you get that shot off. And now we have five different spots pull that puck from. So the great drill to work on, you're just control, your body shifting, getting your head up, chest up, hands out, and firing that puck. So now, we're gonna have a line of pucks here. I have five. I love doing drills like this where you can just be creative. You can do so much with pucks or cones, or even if you have the deekers, go underneath it, but for now, we just have five pucks. So many drills we can work on. We can work on circles, both directions. You can also work on just toe drags. You can also work on just going through it, as we were in the last drill. And then the last one, this is the drill I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go to the backhand. I'm gonna flip it over the puck. Flip it over the puck, flip it over the puck, flip it over the puck. I'll turn around and I'll get a good shot. So again, just mimicking if I'm going over a stick, 
just practicing in a small area, as if you're at home, or if you're at a local rink, or if you're at a puck shooting, things that you can work on just to get stick control and that good feel on the puck so you can go over those pucks. Really hope you enjoyed those videos. Joe and I have been working really hard to grow the game here at Roller Hockey in Minnesota. We are super excited about it. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow for more videos like this. Comment below what you want to see more of, and we'll see you next time. Peace. Just as fast.